Hello everyone. Uh, well, as you see, it's 5 a.m. Uh, and I am in the process of a hackathon that is ongoing. And I just wanted to put out the sort of tool that we're creating because we think a lot of you might be excited about the type of thing that we're working on right now. Uh, and just so, I mean, I've been working with these wonderful people, Mustafa, uh, Matt, and Keith, uh, over the last few hours. And, and we just sort of wanted to show you what, what, we, what we've been putting together. So we were inspired by this, uh, many of you may know, this, this awesome sort of interface that was put together um, uh, by the wonderful creator of, uh, of D3. And it's a wonderful category uh, or uh, catalog of all these different possible uh, uh, different code snippets that you can go through all sort of organized in this very nice, nice sort of online interface. Um, and uh, all built through the infrastructure of GitHub. So we were inspired by this and also being sort of members of our sort of architectural grasshopper type of community. And, uh, and we want to make something just like this, but for our grasshopper example files in the same way that we, you know, people can share scripts uh, over this, this sort of uh, really nice interface. Uh, we want to be able to share grasshopper scripts. And so we started this project uh, just a few hours ago called Hydra. Uh, and specifically, this is, this is the sort of main big page for it. Um, sort of taking uh, the animal in the, in, the, in the McNeil Rhino Kingdom um, and uh, sort of that has the most to do with maybe forking, if you will. And, uh, and, so, and we just sort of wanted to show you how to install this, maybe if, in case you'd like to, to sort of contribute to, uh, to the, the database of example files that we are already starting to build. Um, and so as you can see, actually, if you, uh, I will give you the link to this in the video that is posted here. But if you go here, you will see that we actually have a bit of a database started with example files of Grasshopper components. Um, and with, you know, you can actually click on this and, uh, and actually start to see um, the type of thing that we're building here. So you're actually able to zoom in and see your Grasshopper script to a very high level of detail uh, while also zoom back out to sort of see a whole larger library. And so if you have any interest in sharing uh, example files that you have especially, uh, I'm just going to walk you through quickly how to install the thing that we're working on here um, in case you'd, you'd like to, to put things up here. So it's all done through the infrastructure of GitHub right now. And you can see actually if you go right from this link that I've given you below in the video to our wiki, uh, you'll see that we give you step-by-step -step install instructions basically. If you, if you want to start to be a part of this, this sort of budding community we're trying to bring together around this sharing of files. Uh, and so you see, first thing that you have to do is sort of create a GitHub account. Some of you may already have a GitHub account, so you're, you don't really have to, to worry about it. But it's a completely free, it's a wonderful sort of incredible resource, especially for sharing of open source software. Um, and it's, uh, it's a community much like the Grasshopper one, if, if, you're, if you follow the Grasshopper forums a lot. It's a very, very large, vast community of many open source people. So I'm not going to do that right now because I'm kind of already signed in here. I have my profile, but, uh, but you may have to do that first. Next thing that you need to do is download and install the desktop client for, for GitHub if you don't have it already. And this basically, you'll just go to this, the, the link here, download GitHub 7 for Windows. It'll give you a, a sort of application. You click on it, installs, uh, and within a minute you've got sort of that step up and running. And, uh, and so, all right, now I'm going to take you really through the last, like, sort of three steps, which are, which are the, the key ones where it's, it's not quite as uh, automated. Um, so, all right, so first you sort of have to navigate to our repo. And this is, this is again, this is the link that I'm going to give you to you in this, in this video, uh, in, the, in the description of this video. And what you have to do is you have to fork, basically, or basically make a copy of this master branch in order to participate in this. And we do this so that you're storing your own example files kind of within your own um, uh, profile, your own GitHub profile. Uh, so right now I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to make a fork of this master branch right now. And the easy way to do that is just to click on fork right here. Uh, and then you select, you really want to select your account. I got a few things I'm a part of here, but uh, you want to select the account that you just created. Uh, in order to do that, and you'll be taken now to that to this new fork that's been created, uh, and there won't be all this here because these are some of the example files that I've contributed already. Uh, but it'll be a much more sparser sort of landscape. So, all right, next, once you have that, to sort of kind of go back to our install instructions here, 
um, you need to grab the 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 grasshopper component. So right now you see this is what the grasshopper component looks like. And the easy way to do that is just sort of open this this link that we give you in another tab and you'll see this this little user object downloads. Uh, and this is the special thing that allows it automates basically taking all the pictures of your grasshopper canvas but it automates basically all the things in the background uh, that that uh, that we need in order to build up this database. So I'm just going to take this user objects out of my downloads folder and I actually already have an example file up here that I'm going to share basically. And I'm just going to drag and drop that Hydra component onto my canvas. And then you should see that there's a little sort of Hydra tab and a little Hydra icon uh, that has popped up on the screen. So I'm going to drag and drop this and you guys will see exactly what, we, what you saw in that image there before. And so this is basically what's needed in order to, to format everything for that uh, for for the to to put things onto the uh, the your your GitHub repository basically, um, and so let's see. So all right, so now we need to um, return to the GitHub application. Well, actually, I forgot a very important step here, which is that after you've you've made your your fork, you have to and you've installed the GitHub client. Which you know what I maybe I'm just going to open that right now. So you have your GitHub client open. You have your GitHub repository. Your fork of it and you're gonna hit this little button here on your own repository make sure it has your own name slash Hydra and click clone and desktop launch that application and then you'll see it'll ask you, you should probably just take the default it'll put it in your my documents folder the uh, basically the the your clone of the repository and this will basically copy all the stuff that's that's needed uh, to your machine all of the all of the kind of uh, uh, I mean, this is basically where your own example files are going to be stored uh, for going up into Hydra. And you can see I've got a lot of stuff here already. Your, yours might be a little bit, a uh, little bit sparser at uh, at this, at least at the start. But basically, once you have that, what you have to do is you and you have your sort of example file that you want to share. You just type in a name for your example file. So I'll say this is uh, energy chart because this is a, a new sort of energy chart that I've just I just finished putting together for Ladybug and I'd, I'd really like to, to share this with some more people and uh, you need a little bit of a description of what this example file is um, you know I'll just say this shows you how to make an energy balance uh, energy balance chart with honeybee which is which is the the uh, uh, the open one of the open source projects that I love to contribute a lot on a regular basis and then you need just some type of version and this could be something very simple you know it could just be a one or you know just to sort of keep track because if you ever update this example file uh, we want you to you know to be able to take care of versioning basically and uh, and then finally there's just a boolean toggle that you set to true and you export it and you'll see, well, sometimes it'll give you a little message to say it's not exporting the Rhino file. If you have a file that's dependent upon a uh, grasshopper definition that's dependent upon the Rhino file and want to share that too. Um, but basically what you'll notice now is that you go back to here and if you click on the little, the most recent button, you'll realize that it's written out all of this stuff that's needed to contribute it to the, the com you know, community of example file sharing that we built. Uh, and so I'll just write, you know, a short description of what this is. This is, you know, energy chart. And then you hit this little checkbox to commit. And then you sync. And what that does is once once that syncs, basically, you'll, you'll I mean, it's uploading all those files, basically, the grasshopper file, the image of it, um, so that you can sort of now share this file with a bunch of other people online. And now if you go back, actually, to... to the, the home database of Hydra, basically you the master master fork, and you go to this uh, this this sort of big page that we're starting to build here with all these different things on it. You'll see, well, there here's my energy chart that I just created. I, I actually kind of have two because I put put one of the other ones up earlier, and this is feeding off of that repo, my own personal fork, basically that I made of the repo earlier. And you see, if I click on this now, we've got that grasshopper definition showing up uh, right here, and you can zoom in pretty far to see exactly sort of how the definitions run. So you don't necessarily always have to download it um, in order to be able to see how the definition works. 
But that said, if you do like that, you can always just hit this download button, and you can start to now browse through this like this set of example files that we're building, uh, and you get a zip file that has the grasshopper definition, and you'll see if I had sort of checked this include Rhino file, it would also have a Rhino file in there. If that was an important part of the example file, and you could you know you can share this with other people. Uh, you could you could Facebook like it. We have we're we're trying to make this a big sort of community wide uh, you know platform that we could all share these things on. Uh, so if you think this this is exciting, please uh, please go to the link in the description and feel free. Or if you have example files especially uh, that you'd like to share, or you just want to browse and see what what we're putting together up here, what what example files we've gotten together, uh, just click on that that link in the description and uh, and thanks for listening, everybody.